Since you are at the Union, the skip photographer is about to approach you. And you know you're going to be tagged in this photo on Facebook. Which profile do you show, your right or your left? Oh, I don't What's know. your better? <laughs> I have no idea. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm at the age of diminishing returns. So I, 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 I've had my photograph taken so many times, I just, I, I can't even think about it anymore. I don't really think I have a better side of it or a better side of it. I think, I think both sides are equally calamitous. <laughs> What's your best pickup line to hook the brunette at the bar? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Good God! Uh, the best pickup line to hook the brunette at the bar. Oh God, I don't know, I haven't used a pickup line since after the Korean War. Yeah, do you really want to be here? <laughs> Fair enough, is that effective? <laughs> yeah, it could work, yeah. Gets the job yeah. done, alright. Yeah, it gets the right. job. Do you, and then it starts the conversation off. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what's your favorite Shakespeare play that you've been in since you... Titus Andronicus. Like, okay, why is that your favorite? Just... Because, it, to me, it's the... It's Shakespeare at his most... When he was younger, at his most audacious. Uh, it's kind of... It's got everything in it. But it's also got all the elements that he produced in later plays. So it's got bits of Lear, it's got bits of Othello, it's got bits of Coriolanus. And it's about this old soldier who's lost all these children to Rome, and he ends up, you know, with a, a raped daughter with her hands cut off, and he ends up having to hold the heads of two of his sons who've had to, been decapitated. And it's a kind of ludicrous but rather brilliant play. We had ten people carried out of the theatre on stretchers. <laughs> the play was so shocking to them. And it's partly to do when Lavinia comes in and she's been raped and she has her hands cut off and she's crawling on her stumps. <laughs> and then these heads come on and I just used to take the head and I, I would throw it. And I'd hold on to one of the bandages so that the whole thing stretched out. And the other actor would catch it before the whole head was revealed. And people used to literally go, ah, oh, pass out. It's great. <laughs> Pure theatre. And we had an Italian were going, help me, help me. She was, and I was talking away. So I actually grabbed her and took her off while I was still talking on stage. Got her to the entrance at the side and she fainted. <laughs> Pulled her off by her ankles. <laughs> That's real theatre. <laughs> what have you learned from your three years as rector at the University of Dundee? What would you say sort of is, stands above everything else? I, I, I've learned really what an, what an incredible community a university can be. But like all communities, it, it faces a lot of threat in terms of from within and also from without. Um, and also things that, and I'm going to be serious for a minute, things that surprise me is the amount of loneliness that a lot of students suffer from and stuff that, you know, so that the idea of being a rector goes back to an old idea of, of the, the pastoral life of the students, of really what's going on in the students' lives. And, how they're dealing with this very vulnerable time, you know, because it is a very vulnerable time for students, even though you're also having a lot of fun, there's a lot going on. And, uh, and, I, I, and, 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 I'm, and I've learned really about the courage of people, really how they deal with it, you know, and how courageous they are. Uh, and I think we always forget, we tend to forget that, we tend to forget that, you know, I was coming out of a school system into a university is very, very exposing see how they deal with it and how they cope is uh, it's quite humbling sometimes and that's been the most interesting part of the job and that's been the most for me the most thankful part of the job I didn't want to be just one of these directors that were going to be you know come along and do lots of with great respect silly interviews and stuff like that I wanted to be somebody who was kind of proactive in a way and, and, and really uh, was responsible for the pastoral life of the of the university. What do you think makes the University of Dundee unique? I mean, it's a very interesting question now. I don't think we quite know what makes Dundee University unique, but it certainly is unique. I think it could be due with the geographical location, for one thing. I think it could be due to do with this campus. But with the other universities, there's, there's the sort of monumental aspects of the Cambridge and the Oxford, and even, even the Glasgow's. They have this sort of they have a kind of character about them, but nobody quite knows what Dundee's character is. It's very elusive. 
And I think that's what makes it really interesting. Uh, and that people do have a good time, because it is also quite a small town, you know, and I think people really do enjoy it. And they're always surprised that they enjoy it. And I think it's very, very conducive to making friends, because, it's a, because it is a university town, and the, univer and the students are, live in such close proximity to one another. You know, I think it's, I think something we've got to look into is why we did, why we did become the best student experience last year. I think we've actually got to quantify that a bit for ourselves, but to say this is what is specific about Dundee, because it's very, very hard to define. You know. And do you think that is because of um, the smallness of the town? Yeah, I think it is the smallness of the town. I think it's the particular, and I think it's a town that is rapidly becoming dedicated to its, to the university. You know, I think the university is becoming a very proud aspect of, of the city and very central to the city's life. For me, it's been interesting coming back here because I was born here, mm -hmm. but I couldn't wait to get away when I was a kid. I just couldn't wait. It was a lot, you know, I, was, I, I saw that river and I wanted to cross it. I wanted to get across that river like nobody's business. And now, one of the greatest joys for me is to see the skyline of Dundee and now I'm coming to it. And that's after 50 years, and that's quite remarkable. Yeah. Mr. Appa, do you have any last advice um, for the young and foolish uni students at, at Dundee? Uh, enjoy it, mm -hmm. and don't be afraid to challenge it. You know, don't feel that you uh, that you should be in awe of it. You know, it's it's there to serve you, and uh, as much you know, you you've got to get something out of it. There's no reason you should feel lonely, there's no reason you should feel alienated. And if you do, just question and question your relationship to it. And usually we can sort it out and you know, it's a very, you know, there's, there are the right people around. But, uh, you know, have a good time, enjoy it.